Hey there, it's Pete here, and today I wanted to talk about a couple of hands from the Solaway event in Atlanta, NABC. So here, the hands that I want to cover are some that will probably get lost to the history books or easily forgotten. But there's two hands that I found quite riveting from uh, the boards that I watched. There was heaps to choose from, uh, but I wanted to highlight just a couple. So uh, the first one that I wanted to highlight was actually from the quarterfinal. And this was uh, the Hans team, which is like a Australasian team uh, versus the eventual winners, the Zimmerman team. Zimmerman went out to, to take out the event. Uh, they are the reigning world champions. They came over here and have conquered again. They're extremely consistent. Uh, but here there's a pretty interesting board uh, where North South got to three no trumps at both tables. The auctions are very slightly different. So. Here, I want to start with uh, this one where we have one diamond by east, uh, south over called two clubs, and north has nine points. They've got the king of diamonds, but they volunteered two no trumps. Uh, reasonably pushy. Two no's often like 10 to 12, but some nine counts do uh, creep in as well. Now, here, east has to find a lead against three no trumps. And I've got this good six card diamond suit. And they also know that clubs aren't running, but uh, while North does have a stopper, hopefully if they can knock out one of the stoppers or even if North has King Queen, if partner can get in and then lead another diamond through, uh, then um, you might be able to beat three no. So here Wibbly led the 10 of diamonds and their leads are zero or two higher. So the 10 was either, this is the top of my suit or I have the jack and one higher honor that's not the queen. Uh, but here, North gets to win the king. Now, looking at this hand, they've got the ace king of hearts, they've got the ace of spades, and it looks like they've got six club tricks, except the clubs are 4-0 offside. So the four to the jack actually will uh, cut communication there, so they can't run the clubs. So they play a club over, and they find out the bad news. Uh, they just take the uh, king, queen of clubs, and at this stage, they have a backup plan. And that backup plan is our hearts 3-3 three, three with the queen on side. So they play the king of hearts, heart to the jack, they close their eyes, and then they catch the ace of hearts, and the hearts do come in, and they get their nine tricks. All rather routine here, uh, but uh, interesting one, where you've got, like, get to a really good contract, find a really nasty break, but then have a backup plan. Now, at the other table, the auction was slightly different. So it went one diamond, two clubs, past three clubs. They raised here. And South then asked for a diamond stopper, which West actually doubled saying, I like diamonds. And North bid three no trumps over that anyway. So here, East, from East perspective, they've got a slightly different uh, view of what's actually going on. Their partner has a diamond on her or likes diamonds, yet North is still willing to play three no. So here, you know partner's got the queen and north's got the king, uh, but you don't need to lead the diamond in case uh, partner uh, declares got uh, king queen, because if partner's getting in, then they can actually uh, just lead a diamond through. So here, east chooses a spade lead, and south takes the ace of spades. And at this stage, it looks like they've got two hearts, a spade and six clubs. Uh, but again, when the uh, club suit doesn't break, now that they they don't have all those clubs. Now you could play for hearts to be 3-3 three, three with the queen on side. However, they haven't given you that diamond trick yet. We don't have our ninth trick here. So uh, here, what the Claire was doing is they cash the uh, king of clubs. They got some bad news. And uh, at this stage, they took an interesting choice where they won the king of hearts, and now they played a heart to the ace. Uh, now, you basically don't get any more tricks from here, and uh, they could have taken a finesse, gotten two more, and gone one down. Uh, but here, I reckon they went up with the ace of hearts for a couple of reasons. Firstly, East has done well not to lead diamonds, um, which means that if there was a diamond lead and hearts were 3-3 three, three with the queen on side, now you're going to be suffering a, um, a game swing out, which isn't good. 
And alternatively, if that's not the case, then you want to hope to try and minimize the damage. Uh, so I reckon that's probably the reasoning for going up with the Ace of Hearts. But there was actually a really cool line that I wanted to highlight that could actually make this, even after the spade lead. And it's not obvious what's actually going on, but uh, you could play this kind of single dummy, but if you found this, you'd be really, really happy. Like this is not an easy line to play, but uh, you get the ace of clubs lead and now the clubs don't, aren't running. So to have any hope, you'd need hearts to be three, three with the uh, queen on side. And you need some sort of end play on east to either get your jack of spades to set up or uh, give you the king of diamonds. So what you can actually do from here is this nine eight of diamonds is actually really powerful. So what you can actually do is you could play the king of hearts and then play a heart over towards the jack, hoping that they're three three with the queen on side. Another heart continuation. And then cash that heart winner. And from here, now play clubs. So we take the club and we can take the king of clubs. And here, if East throws a spade, you could just duck a spade and that'd be end played. Uh, they could throw say the 10 of diamonds or the four. Uh, but here, um, let's say that they throw the four. Now what we actually do is lead the nine of diamonds and only cover if West covers this. And what would happen is this sort of, we're effectively finessing West here. If West had two of the cards above the 10, this would not work. But if you play East to have good enough diamonds such that they've got uh, Ace Jack 10, Ace Queen 10, stuff like that, then running the nine here will ultimately end play East. If West goes up with the Queen, we cover and East is stuck on lead and your Jack of Spades will be a trick. And if uh, West plays low, we play low and East wins and won't be able to get off the board. And then you would be able to get uh, your final trick there. So cash a diamond and then uh, you would get um, your diamond. And yeah, so a pretty interesting one about uh, reading the leads and a cool play where if you didn't have the nine eight of diamonds, you wouldn't be able to do this. Um, so the nine eight here is really what gives you this chance of finessing the queen to end play the other player. So really interesting position where uh, you've got your six clubs. When that doesn't happen, you've got the backup plan that hearts are three, three with the queen on side. And then you still need this really cool play of finessing West, hoping that they've only got one of the queen jack 10 of diamonds. So super cool hand here. Um, intricate play that you just don't really see, but to like set up the end play. So I really like that one, but uh, not gonna go down in the, the history books because it was uh, just from the quarterfinals, but uh, cool hand there nonetheless. The next is from the semifinals. And this is between the Street and Fleischer uh, match. Uh, Street went on to win this, uh, to play Zimmerman in the final, uh, but didn't uh, manage to win that. They came second in the solo way. And this one was a really interesting flat board. They both got to three no trumps and they both went down in three no trumps. But there was some really interesting play that uh, while it didn't work, was uh, quite riveting. I, I found it interesting. So I wanted to highlight this one. So uh, both tables got to three no trumps in identical fashion. And here the east hand's got five points. You wanna try and set up the hearts. Now you get a spade lead and you win. And then uh, basically what you're hoping for is north to have the jack of hearts. So they led the queen of hearts, which actually got ducked. Now you can make from here if you play a heart to the king, uh, but you don't know who's ducking the ace here. Um, but if north has the jack of hearts, what you can then do is just lead a heart towards the 10. Here it fails, uh, the jack's uh, in the south hand and that doesn't work. Now uh, they continue a spade and from here it looks like you're doomed. And on the layout you are doomed, uh, but from the perspective of east-west, 
what you can do is if hearts were three three, and you can set up the hearts, then and get back there, then you can get enough tricks. So I got three tricks. If they get two hearts, four diamonds, and a club, that would be making an extra trick. But uh, two hearts, three diamonds, and a club, they're still making your contract. Uh, the opponents have some spade tricks set up. They would have at least one more heart to catch as well. But if hearts are three, three, and you can get there twice, that's good. But the question is, how can you actually get there? So here, what Versace did is he let a low diamond and put in the nine, finessing north for the jack to generate an extra trick here, um, an extra entry, sorry. Uh, so that when that wins, they can play a heart, and if hearts were 3-3, three, three, then you'd still have the Queen of Diamonds as an extra trick. Here the hearts went 3-3, three, three, so now you, you de you're doomed and you're going down. At the other table, a uh, similar sort of principle here. Um, they got a spade lead, they won the Queen of Hearts, they played a heart towards the 10 and lost, they won the spade eventually, and now they played slightly differently. They didn't lead a low diamond to the nine, they played the ace of diamonds, and then they played the ten of diamonds playing for the queen. Now, what this is hoping for is if there was a doubleton jack of diamonds, uh, then what would happen is that nine of diamonds would be an extra entry here. So we have got two ways where they tried to generate an extra entry. One where they played Ace of Diamonds 10 to the Queen, unblocking the 10, so that they could play the 7 over to the 9, and another where they actually finessed the 9. So uh, why did they uh, do, like, the 10 to the Queen? Why not finesse? What's the difference here? Well, there's actually... Uh, the 10 to the Queen is the technical line of play here. So I'll get to that point again. So after you win a spade... Uh, if you just go and play a low diamond towards the nine, north, if they're up to the task and hearts were 3-3, three, three, could pop with the jack. And if they hop up with the jack of diamonds, making it so that you can't use that nine as an entry, while the jack's gone, the nine's high, the ten's actually blocking it. So hopping up with the jack to, can cut communication to prevent that. Whereas if there was a doubleton jack, you can't do it. But this is like an interesting challenge that often happens at the top level. You have the percentage play, the ace of diamonds 10 to the queen, hoping for doubleton jack. Or do you test the opponents for a really tricky defensive spot? Hopping up with the jack is not easy to block the suit. So which line of play do you actually go? I found this hand really cool for the different ways that you can try and create entries. Do you finesse to create an entry or do you hope that the honor uh, drops short and you start unblocking your tricks there? Hearts weren't 3-3, three, three. nothing could be done. But for me, this was like a really interesting flat board. So these were two cool hands from the solo way that I wanted to highlight that wouldn't really get that much attention all up, but I found them really interesting and I hope you did too. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time.